Hi. It's it's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> so now I'm gonna do what little John does. All right. <laughs> and I got my big glass of wine. And I know you're not on the phone. Uh, this comes in. <laughs> so I just wanted to do something really, really, really quick. My sons are on and they never be on. So my sons are on real quick. I just wanted to say something really quick and do a big surprise for you guys because I have so many supporters. I'm going to do the class, but the class is not going to be too later. I just wanted my family and my friends and everyone who helped me out to be on this live so that you could get a good surprise. Come on. I don't know why my kids are so shy. Come on, sir. Well, that one over there who wants to be on YouTube is. So I'm going to have... Both my kids on and my little sis. Uh, you're on. <laughs> unmute. <laughs> it's unmute. Hi, baby. How are you? Hi, gorgeous. I know she like give me that bottle. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to say thank you to everyone. I'm gonna drink. I'm definitely going to drink, little John. I'm going to drink. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting me from the beginning and all the way up until now. And especially um, Triple, Triple C and Joe and especially my admins, especially little John, BC, BZ Peachy, like you guys took me to another level and that's how I was able to meet so many fabulous people, my family, my friends, my kids, my significant other, security guard, everyone, Natalie, Gail, Amanda, like it's like so many of you guys, like I just can't say it all, but I just wanted to say a thank you. And the best way to say thank you is have my little sister sing a song because all of you guys have a halo. So she's gonna sing halo for you. And there you go. Remember those walls I built? Oh yeah, they're tumbling down And they didn't even put up a fight They didn't even make a sound I found a way to let you in But I never really had a doubt Standing in the light of your halo I got my angel now It's like I've been awakened Every rule I had you breaking it's a risk that I'm taking, and I ain't never gonna shut you out. Every way I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Yeah, I can see your halo. You know you're my saving grace. You're everything I need and more. It's written all over your face. Baby, I can feel your halo. I pray it won't fade away. I can see your halo, your halo. I can see your halo, your halo. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's for all of you guys. All of the halos. All of you got halos. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, Brandy. You always saving me. <laughs> you guys have a good one. I'm letting you go because I know she's not going to let go of the bottom. Nope. So I'll talk to you later. Thank you. I love you. Congratulations. Thanks. Love you. Bye, Maury. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs>
Thank you. So yeah, that was my little surprise. I told you only 10 minutes. It wasn't even going to be 10 minutes, just a little bit. I just wanted to say thank you. And I can't sing. So I let her sing for you. And my kids, they are on here. Come on, Ayana. You might as well come on too. Come on. So we all just one big happy family saying hi. And thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> He don't want to be the one who wants to be on YouTube. Don't want to be on YouTube. That makes no sense. But that's what I had wanted to to give you guys a big surprise on how much I appreciate you guys and how much you guys are like have halos. There's not a lot of people out there who's willing to help others, and you guys did. Not everybody wants to help others because they feel like you're going to step on their toes. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all the questions I asked, all the answers you gave me. I appreciate it. So that's all. That's what I just wanted to give you just a little bit. So imagine what's going to happen when I get to 2,000, y'all. <laughs> Imagine we're going to have a party up in here, 2000. How about that? We're going to get to 2000 real soon. And then I'm going to just really go crazy. So I'm about to do my class now. But I just wanted you guys to take a little bit of time and come on here and, and know that you got a halo. Even though it's invisible, you got a halo. So now let's get to the class. So if you want to stay on and look at my class, that's what we're going to do. So for all of you who are staying on for my class, thank you for coming on to the class. And it's time to learn. It's time to get it going. Oh, thank you, Jessica. Oh, my God. So many of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. So I just wanted to um, do this on YouTube because do you understand how many times I've been on Facebook and did so many videos? How many watch time hours I could have had on this? I'm on YouTube, not YouTube, I'm on Facebook almost every single week, at least two to three times a week. So as much watch time that I got on there, I needed to put it on here. And I might as well keep it on here. So I'm going to start with my class and we're about to keep it going, right? Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. 5,000 giveaway. Oh, Triple C and Joe show, they're going to do a 5,000. They're getting like they're right there too. Oh my God, I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see that. So. I'm going to start my, my little class. So we've been doing the onesie. And you guys have been rocking that onesie, okay? That onesie, ugh, can somebody tell me how the heck you get from not knowing how to do a graph can to doing, like, all this phenomenal things on that graph can? Amazing, amazing. So. It wasn't me. It was you. It was definitely you. So I already started, but what I am going to do is, since we have like over 50 new people that are going to do the graph scan, I'm sorry, 50 new people that are going to do this um, class for the first time, I decided to just go over and do the whole, not the whole entire onesie, but where we are starting the actual um, graph in. So the, the onesie is a simple, easy, free pattern in the class. And all I am doing is adding this letter to mine. That's all I'm doing. How I get there in the free pattern, there is a uh um part on the overall that's just like a little square that's where i'm gonna put the l that is like 21 for the size that i'm doing is 21 by 40 i believe it is no 21 by 15. so because it's 21 by 15 i literally just made this 20 by 20 by 15 but it's not really a whole 20 by 15 it's actually smaller than that so that is what i'm going to do to use 
Oh, Gail. You just found it. Oh, you're going to have to replay it because I had did. My sister had sang a song. You're always missing my sister singing. So this is the um the onesie. I actually didn't finish the other leg because I had ran out of the yarn. <laughs> so I found more, but I found like scraps. So this is part of the onesie. But the part that I'm going to do today with you guys is the top part. So this is the part that you need to learn, which is the graph game part. It is hot, 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 hot. So when you start off with your um when you start off when you start off with your graph game, you want to make sure that your graph is good. Make sure that you have everything that you need. If you're going to use bobbins, make sure you have bobbins. If you're going to use um certain type of yarn make sure you have all your yarn the thing about the yarn is make sure that your yarn is around the same exact size if you have two different um types of yarn that's going to be a no-no you cannot have two different types of yarn two different types two different brands yes but you just need to make sure the weight is the same exact size if it's not the same exact size, it's going to definitely make your onesie a little wonky. Because, and it's going to give you holes in it, and you don't want that. You don't want holes in it at all. So the for this, I am going to use the hook that the pattern gave. Two different weights. Did I say two different weights? I don't know if I said two different... Two different brands is okay. Two different weights is not okay. What did I say wrong? I could have sworn I said two different weights. I could have sworn I said that. And I said overalls, didn't I? Y'all go, y'all, y'all, wait, listen. I think I was drinking a little bit early. <laughs> I did say overalls. I'm not saying overalls. Yes, the wine is making me hot. And the light is making me hot. I said onesie. I don't remember saying onesie. Y'all making that up. <laughs> but I don't remember saying onesie. If I said onesie, so what? So what? It, what difference does it make? It's still, it's still something we're going to do. Overalls, onesie, same difference. It don't don't matter. It doesn't matter. So, it is what it is. All right. So, like I said, this is 15, uh, what is it? 20 by 15. So, I am going to do 20 chains. When I do my 20 chains, uh, you could do either the foundation or you could do the actual um, chain. Exactly. Where's my water? Can someone get my water out the freezer? I, I kept my water in the freezer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because <laughs> you know I always have my water. I always have my water. We threw the... Yeah, we did throw the onesies out. The onesies I'm not going back to. I'm excited, but I'm not that excited. What it is, is so many things happened at one time right before I got on here. So many things happened at one time. I was even trying to get my sister on, but she had the mute on. And then I was trying to get the boys on. And then he's answering the phone because of his girlfriend. Like, y'all just don't understand behind the scenes. And all I wanted to do was have my sister sing. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. Eli, can you get my water? So, all right. The one, the onesie. I did say onesie. <laughs> I caught myself. The jumper. The jumper onesie, whatever it is. Okay. Whatever it is that we're going to do, I'm going to start off with the 20 chains. Whatever it is. I, I don't even care anymore. I really don't. <laughs> so we're going to do the chains. I'm going to get a close up so that you can see my pop, lock, and drop because I know everybody want to know what my pop, lock, and drop is. So with the class, I am going to do this on here, but 
the actual uh, pictures, video, other videos that's already pre-recorded pre -recorded, and any other information that I have, I will keep in YouTube University, not YouTube University. What did I do? What did, did I drink a lot? Maybe I had, I drank the whole bottle, y'all. I drank the whole bottle. That's what it is. So I'm going to put it in Facebook. In Facebook, it's going to be there and because I can't keep it out here. So it's definitely going to be in there on Facebook. Eli, can you get my water? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Oh, I did this, the right amount, too. 21 is what we need. We need 21. <clears throat> so, in the 21, the reason why we need 21 is because we need the turning chain. I am doing, thank you. I am doing the HDC. Actually, the pattern actually says, no, no, no. The pad. I do HDC for all of my graph games, but I am going to follow the pattern because if I do HDC, it will be unproportioned. It would not be proportioned well. So I am going to do single crochet and I'm going to use the G hook because that's what the pattern told me. So the pattern is uh, the one that I put in the class. So if you're not in the class, the pattern is really, 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 really simple. It's free, and I am going to tell you exactly where it is. It's the Lavender Chair blog overall crochet pattern. That's what this is. That's where I put the pattern at in the classroom. So that's what we're doing, and some people are doing the dress. So it's basically just like that, but it's the dress. Okay, so the pattern says for us to do the foundation, but you could do foundation, uh, the foundation um, single crochet, or you could do regular chain in the single crochet. It doesn't matter. You could do whatever you want. <clears throat> as long as you have that starting foundation, you're fine. So I'm going to do this, and in the meantime, what I'm going to say is what yarn I use, what hooks I use. So I use, this is closed, so it's a little bit different. Right now I'm using the Jean Yarn, Lion Brand Jean Yarn, which to me is something I wanted to use forever. But Miss Gail, my crochet sister, partner, friend, sister, whatever, told me, to don't use it even though i wanted to use it for so long this was the best time to use it so i'm using it so i'm making the the onesie i'm making the overalls i think i'm stuck on that onesie maybe i should just make the onesie that's what i should do i should just make the onesie because i'm so stuck on it and i'm sweating like crazy it is so hot. It's, the crazy thing is, it's cool in my bedroom. But I didn't want to do this in my bedroom because I wanted a background. But let me tell you something. This won't be next time. The next class, every, um, so every live instruction, I usually do every Sunday at 7 p.m. as well as every Tuesday. So every Sunday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time is when I do my live instruction. I started adding in business and uh, for those who are in for um, mentoring. So I do the mentoring as well. Any mentoring, I am doing that on Mentoring Monday. So Mentoring Monday will be the day that I'm going to do that. So if you don't want to learn anything about graph scanning, you could definitely come on Monday and check me out Monday at 7 o'clock to do Mentoring Monday. And that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to use a little bit of white to make the L. And I'm going to use 
the rest of my jean yarn. I'm going to change the camera so you can see what I'm doing because I'm also going to show you my pop, lock, and drop. Now, what is pop, lock, and drop? My pop, lock, and drop is something that I decided to make up because a lot of people was having a hard time, including myself, having a hard time making uh, um, the, the color changing. So when you do a color changing, sometimes you just can't get that change of a color and sometimes you see the color and you don't want to see that color. You don't want to see it. So what I do is I do pop, lock, and drop. Seriously, I do pop, lock, and drop. And it's funny to some people, but those people who laugh are using it. And those people who are using it are doing the damn thing okay they're doing the damn thing i have a little trick and a tip what else i'm going to show you is get you a clover hook the reason why i say a clover hook or furl is because it glides really 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 simple i love this hook and i love my clover hook because when i was using the, the susan bates is something that i was using like crazy and when i used the susan bates I, it just kept snagging and it didn't like go through as easy as i wanted it to do so i got well my sister uh gail she got me the clover hook and the furl she got me the clover first and i'm not going to tell you her little secret on how she got it because this is the whole pack is like 70 dollars and she got me the whole pack then i wound up getting myself another whole pack because you need to have like two or three sets of these things that's how good they are the furl i just gotta buy that little at a time because Furl hooks are a little bit more expensive it's like 30 dollars or 60 dollars for one but if you're a true diva and a true hooker, you get you a furl hook. Because I'm telling you, it will definitely work. It really, really, really will help you out. If you are mastering a bunch of um, crochet, 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 crochet projects at once in a, in a whole entire month, then get this or get you a furl. It's definitely worth it. You need it. Because I'm telling you, I'm able to go faster, I'm able to do it smoother, and you could just go with a nice flow. And you 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 won't be you won't be um having that problem with the snagging because I'm telling you that stopped. The snagging stopped. So I'm the only time I have an issue with it is when I get it wet. So like right now, let's say it's like really like my hands are sweaty and I'm touching the yarn and touching the hook and that's when it starts getting a little like snaggy and then I do that with in my class. I don't know if a lot of them pay attention when I say it's sweat and I say the hook is sweating and that's because I feel it. I can feel like the tension. But that's basically it. That's the only time I have a problem is when my hands are a little sweaty. So I'm going to turn the camera on so that you can see my hands and you're going to see my face. The only reason why I'm on this today, StreamYard, is because of um, my sister being on here. But any other time, I'm going to use my favorite, which is OBS, because let me tell you something. I already had that down pat. Okay, I have me in the like corner, and then I just press a button, my camera is on, like everything is already done and packed. But with this, I gotta do a little bit more work. So it's all right though. It's all right. We we gonna handle it. We're gonna handle it. But when I have guests, OBS takes a like you have to be on Zoom and uh yeah. I don't want to be on Zoom because Zoom lags, but with this, it doesn't. So I'm good. I'm good with this. All right. Let me put on the camera so that you can see. Uh, how are you guys doing on this Sunday, y'all? How y'all doing? Today is a great day, right? Like, I can't believe I woke up and it was like 1,100 of you guys. Like, what? 1100 I'm like what yes I, I was so excited all right so here 
here we go. We're going to do it like this. We're going to do it like this. So, <clears throat> with, when we are doing, here we go. When we are doing the graph, right, you have to remember that you're going to start either from left to right or right to left. And let me see. I'm sorry. Okay. You're going to start either left to right or right to left, bottom to top or top to bottom. Doesn't matter. But I, for my purpose, I'm going to say, show you how I do mine. Left handed or not, it doesn't matter. You can start wherever you want to start. It really does not matter if you start on the left or on the right. It don't matter. So I'm trying to get the light right so that you guys can see me better. See my hands better. I guess you can see my hands good. Oh, my hands are dark. Some good old chocolate hands. <laughs> so we're going to do the... Um, color changes and pop lock and drop and we're going to do all of that let me make sure that it is all done okay here we go so here we go this is my foundation so as you see my foundation is already done i did the foundation and i did the extra single crochet now is where i'm going to start right here i'm going to start my graph i am going to make sure that uh where is oh here it is uh, okay so i'm going to make sure that i start on this side when i start on this side you're going to end up on this side once you finish on this side, you're going to end up on this side. So that's basically what you're doing. You're going from right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right. And you're just going to keep going back. And then it's going to be from the bottom up to the top. A lot of people get that messed up because they go from right to left, right to left, right to left, or left to right, left to right. And then, or sometimes you start from the top. It doesn't matter if you start at the top, but as long as you start, on one side and end up on this side then you're going to go to the next row and you're going to start here and end up here and you're just going to keep going in that pattern just like that just keep going in that pattern back and forth back and forth and that's how you do the graph again when you read the graph now on this graph again i have 20 all together Actually, yeah, I have 20 all together. So I am going to do the three in the blue, and then I'm going to do this in white, and then this in blue. This is where you think of your bobbins. So your bobbins, your bobbins would be one side here, and this side here, and this side here. Why? Because you need three sets of bobbins three three you need three why because we do not cross contaminate at all whatsoever we don't do that so because we don't cross contaminate which means we do not cross our colors we don't carry the colors i if i ever carry it's no more than three stitches and that's very 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 carefully i'm saying this three stitches no more and and it also depends on the color if i even do the three stitches i'm also going to show you how i crochet without weaving i do not weave that's a no no it's a cuss word in my house so we will not say that w word ever again okay because we don't do that um my moderators i you know what i need to talk to miss um little john and miss uh Triple C and Joe. I need to talk to you guys later on because my moderators need to know that people need to know that they're moderators. And Natalie is a moderator. Uh Raquel is a moderator. Gail is a moderator. So if you see them ask, answering any questions. It's not no random Joe. I need to make them moderators, but I don't know how to do that right on I don't know how to do that on StreamYard. 
How, how, I don't even know. So I'll talk to y'all the odds about that later. But for now, let's get back to work. So I don't use bobbins. Why? I'm, t I'm too busy. I'm a busy diva. I don't got time to be worried about no bobbins. So no, I do not use bobbins. I don't like bobbins. I don't even buy bobbins. You can make your own bobbins. And in the, in the classroom, I um, have it in there. I will show you everything or do another thing in the classroom to basically show you where everything is, but I'm not doing that now. We're just going to go straight into graph scanning. I'm also going to explain to you um, how you can look for everything. If you um, miss something, how you know if you miss something. I'm going to show you all of that. But right now, let's get into this graph scanning because I don't want uh, the ladies who've been here already to lag behind. Um, majority of the ladies who've been here before, honestly, don't even need me anymore. I really don't feel any type of way about it because that's what you're here for, to get away from me and not be around me anymore. But, uh, yeah, a lot of you succeeded in that. So... If anything, you only need me for mentoring, so I will see you on Mentoring Monday. So right now, I am just taking pieces of the yarn and making it like as if I had bobbins. Like I said, I don't use bobbins at all whatsoever. So I'm just taking my pieces and putting it to the side. So that's one for this side. That's the background color. Then I'm going to do another one for this side. That's the other part of the background color, and this for the middle. That's how I set mine up. Where my yarn goes, no one knows, and who cares? I'm getting the work done. How about that? And if you want, you can set the bobbins up. There's different types of bobbins. There's different places you can buy it. Everything is in the classroom You on Graph Gans. What is it? Graph Gans University. That's what it is. Graph Gans University. So you could go on Graphcans University, and that would be in there. There's a section in the unit for anything that you need to buy, whether it's the hooks, whether it's certain types of um, materials that you need, is right there. Even all the way down to if you need a logo. I'm telling you, I cover everything. I don't play. This is no game, y'all. This is no game. This is my business, okay? So I'm going to do this right here but first before i even start let me tell you something the thing that i see a lot of people do is this right here you see this string hanging we don't want that okay we don't want that and what we're going to do is make sure that every last string that hangs is going to hang from the back but i'm going to cut that off that way i don't have to worry about that because the way I'm starting right now it's going this is going to be my front side I'm gonna show you a little trick your front is always going to be the right side your back is always going to be the left side why because let me show you I'm going to where's my pen I have I have my diva pen where's my diva pen here it is I don't play. I have my diva pen in here somewhere. Here it is. Here you go, my diva pen. I don't play. So what we're going to do is this is going to be number one, right? And this is going to be number two. I didn't count this one. Yes, sometimes I do count it. Sometimes I don't count it. It just depends on what I'm doing. I'm not counting this at all, this first line. I'm going to count where I start. Uh, oh wait, it's lagging, it's lagging. What happened, what happened, what happened? Let me stop for a minute. I don't understand why it's lagging. <clears throat> Any questions before I go on? Uh, Charmaine, she will take care of you. Who is Charmaine? Aw. 
Charmaine. I have a best friend named Charmaine. I thought she was her. I use big clothes pins. You can use big clothes pins. Like I said, it's in the classroom. You can use either one. It doesn't matter. There's uh the actual big bobbins. There's the small bobbins. There's medium bobbins. You can use all of that. I'm going to put the camera back on. I just had to turn it off because it, it was stuck for some reason. My class know I need my water. They know. I don't play. My water is with me every single time I'm on. Um. All right, let me put this back on. I don't understand why it froze on me, but we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. Yeah, this froze on me. I'm going to have to um, reboot it, reboot it. But in the meantime, let me um explain to you something. When we do our graphs, you want to make sure that it's on the right side. The reason why I say that is because some of you, when you do your work, you're doing it from... Uh, like for instance, if you're doing, if the work is facing you, your strings are going to face towards the back. Then when you turn it around, your string is going to face towards the back. And every time you turn it around, your strings face towards the back. So as you're doing that, when you turn it around, your, your strings are going to be in the front and in the back. Because every time you turn it around, you're putting it in one direction. That is a no-no. Reason why? Reason why it's a no-no is because graphs and images we're crocheting so being that we're crocheting this any little bit of um snagging or if the graph is not good or if it anything is a little bit off it shows in your work and that's i am very professional with my work i do not play my images have to be spot on okay and it has to be sharp so when you have a graph that's from me it's going to be clean and crisp and clear quality because when you are crocheting you have jagged lines your lines are going left and then your lines are going right and so being that your lines are going back and forth i make your graph so that it does it okay i make your graph so even if you do crochet this way or crochet that way your your image is still on point okay so that matters when you get a graph it matters so if you have a whole bunch of dots everywhere and your lines are not connecting so if you could play connect the dots with all of that image that's not a good graph if you go on pinterest and get a graph that's not a good graph if you go on stitch fiddle and you put an image in there and your image comes up not clean not clear and not legible that's not a good graph. I know some people argue me down. I know it. I guarantee you people argue me down all the time about Stitch Fiddle. I use it all the time and it's good for me. I guarantee you. I put you to the test. You do it. I do it. Same picture. I crochet it. You crochet it. Let's see who is better. Hey, you don't even have to use me. We can use somebody else who just started. Just so that you don't say, oh, well, you're a diva and you do it better. No, we can find somebody else to do it. And I challenge you. I'm visual. You may be visual too. You may need to see the reason why I do not use Stitch Fiddle. So what do I use? I always use PC Stitch. Some people say, well, I don't use PC Stitch because it's a lot of money. You want good work? You want to make it rain? You need PC Stitch. That's all I got to say. You have to invest in yourself. But I'm not going to go into that right now. That's Monday. Mentoring Monday. I am going to do this screen share so that you can see. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go back. I don't know what happened, but it's, it is what it is. I needed to let you know. I needed to let you know that little bit of everything. Okay, so I am going to scratch that out, scratch that out, and scratch that out. So when we start on this side, which is the first row, that is always going to be the front of our work. So when you get up and you start your graph and you're like five rows in, you just completed this row right here, which is the fifth row. 
when you finish that fifth row and you get up and you put your work away and you want to start the next day, the thing about that is some people don't know where they at or where they left off at. So the reason why I always tell you guys when you are when you stop on the on the fifth line, that means you're gonna start back over here. And that means this would be number six. If this is number six, that means it's even. Six even equals the right side. So that means this will be the right side. If you are stopping on the six and you end up doing it on the seventh, that means the seventh is the odd. And odd means you're on the wrong side. You need to know this so that your work does not come out backwards. You don't understand how many times I saw so many of the ladies out there who make opposite sides of their work. So instead of it saying, hello is allo or something like that because it's the opposite and because you don't know which way you're going and that's a problem you don't want to do that so yeah okay so i am going to follow exactly how this graph is even though i want to change something real quick actually you know what i'm gonna do it anyway i'm just adding an extra um background color because I wanted to line up. I did this real quick right before I got on here, so I didn't make it center. I didn't centerize it. So I just needed to add one more line. So instead of three, I just added four. That's all I did. I didn't do anything else. So now it's time to get your other bobbin, which I don't have bobbins. I don't want bobbins. I don't need bobbins. But if you have a bobbin, that's when you pick up your next bobbin and you add it onto your hook. This is where it starts getting funky. This is where we gonna start doing the pop, lock, and drop. So once I did my four of the background color, I stopped at that number four, and I don't go anymore. What I do is I add my next color, because this is where we're gonna have fun. We're gonna start changing our colors, right? So this is where I am going to add it on my hook. You add that white, and it goes through all two of your, um, yeah, it goes through all two of the loops that's on your hook. Then we're going to pop it in that next stitch. Yarn over, pull out, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Why did I do that? I just did the pop, lock, and drop, and I also did the extended single crochet, which is popping it in, locking it in, and dropping it. I drop it to the back. So I'm gonna do it again, because I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I need 11. So I'm gonna do another one. I am going, popping it in, yarn over, pull it out, two on the hook, Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Again, pop it in, in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull out one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm doing the extended single crochet, which is also my pop, lock, and drop method. So I'm going in. Yarn over, pull out one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm going to just keep on going until I get to the 11th one. This right here is the reason why I do this is because we are locking it in. And your color change will be cleaner and crisp. Let me turn down this light because I think this light is too too bright and you can't see how clean and crisp my stitches are yeah my stitches are clean and they're crisp and you can't beat that uh, okay
Okay, so can you see? Can you see better? Can you see better? I think you can. Let me see if I can. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, technology is the beast. Technology is a beast, man. Technology, man. Okay, so so far I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Five more. Six. Seven. Eight. Now, I don't know if you realized it, but I crocheted over my tail. When I had went in, I just left a little bit of tail and I crocheted over the tail. I did that because I don't weave. Divas don't have time to weave. So I took that right off. Uh, let me see. I don't know if the light is a problem, but this is how it looks. Is it focusing? Or oh, maybe you can see it better on here. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to use my cell phone next time because my cell phone, for some reason, it is so much better. My cell phone is so much better. But yeah, I crocheted over that tail. That way I don't have to weave in anything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and last one, eleven. So counting is the best thing ever, right? You don't want to not count because you don't want your stuff to end up not looking good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now you stop. You stop when it ha when you have two on the hook. You have to stop because now it's time to add the next bobbin. If you have a bobbin. If you don't have the bobbin, then you're going to add the next um, yarn. And I have that already ready. And here we go. So now I'm going to add this. If you can see, I have a little bit on the left for my tail. I always do that because I want to weave that in. Well, we, we don't want to say that W word, but we want to basically crochet over it so we don't have to worry about weaving it in. So now we're going to pop in. And we're going to do that extended version. And when we do that, we're going to pull down this white in the back. And the reason why we do that is because we want it to lock in when you do that your stitches are so much better your stitches are so much better um okay so here we go we're going to finish to the end and we're going to continue the extended version now, sometimes I have a little bit of the tail left over. So when you have a little bit of the tail left over, I do something called the Z method. Something I made it up. So there's no way you could look it up because I made it up. So the Z method is something that I use because when we crochet and we are using that W word, when we use that W word, we basically want to weave it in, and but we want to make sure it stays in. So wherever you are making, if it's a blanket or a pillow, or whatever you make, when someone washes it, you want to make sure that when they wash it, it doesn't come out. So I use sometimes the Z method. The Z method is basically when you turn it around, you still have a little bit of this left over. So I'm going to crochet on top of this so basically you crochet that string here then when you turn around you crochet here so it's basically going into like a z like a little z and i do that so that it is like stitched in there like this and not just that one long line and it works well for me and i never had anybody say that they have a problem with the stitches coming out so that's what i do 
and that's what we're going to keep on doing. The next line is going to be three. So that means we're going to be on the back. So when you look on the back, that's when you're going to see all of your hanging strings. And that means you're going to put your strings to the front, not the back. Because if you put it to the back, that means you're putting it to the to the front of your work. And you don't want to put it to the front of your work. Why? Because you don't want to mess up your image when you weave it in. Sometimes when you weave it in, you might weave it in in the wrong way. And just to make it easier when you want to take pictures, to make it easier so that you don't have to worry about weaving it in, it just makes a lot of sense to just do it this way. It just makes a lot of sense. Like, Diva does it better. So if you do it my way, I guarantee you, you'll be fine. Um, before I keep go on anymore, is there any questions that I can answer while I am online? I want to be able to answer any questions while I'm online. That way I don't miss anything. I don't even see it. I don't even see. Where is it? Where's the questions? Oh, here it is. Uh, I love you, Gail. You are my big sister. Since learning this method, I'm loving not having to do the W word. Exactly. I, exactly. That W word, man. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. What I need to do is make... Make sure that you guys have a way of um, we need to make sure that you are being acknowledged that you are a graph uh, a moderator. That's what I need to do. You know what? I'm so dingy. I don't even need to do that. All right. So I'm so used to my OBS. That software is so much better. Okay. So now I'm gonna weave in this side. W. I'm going to do the W. So we're going to do the W, right? We're going into that first stitch. Uh, and when I do that, my, my um sides are like straight. Like I have no problems with my sides at all whatsoever. So now we're going to pick up the string. So I'm going to just take my little hook and wrap it underneath that string and we're going in and i'm going to pop unlock and drop why am i doing the pop lock and drop now it's because i am locking it in so that this string does not go anywhere it doesn't go anywhere so i am basically doing the same amount of stitches because that's what i'm doing with the this is basically the same amount of stitches with the um graph okay so now it's time to change my color so i am left with two on the hook well Gigi, i am doing the color change a couple of more times so i have a lot of videos and just be patient because i'm going to be doing the pop lock and drop all the time all the time don't worry about it you'll get it all right so here we go again two on the hook yarn over pull through both of those loops i am going to tug down on this blue why because we are locking it in so that when we are changing this color, that white is not mixed in with that blue because I know some of you see it. When you are changing your colors and you look at your work, you see a little bit of the white in here and you see a little bit of the blue in the white area. That's what this does. This method changes the game for that. It does not allow that to happen as long as you're doing it the right way get you a clover or fro hook and you will be fine as long as you do what diva doing you will be fine so we're gonna pop it in yarn over 
pull out one, and then you're going to have two on the hook. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to do it again. Pop it in. And we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it again 11 times. Pop it in. Pop it in, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Pop it in, yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And that's all you're doing, the extended single crochet. That's what you're doing. Pop it in, yarn over, pull up one. You have two on the hook, yarn over, pull through one of those loops, yarn over, pull through both of the loops. So you're going to pull through one at the first time, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through two the second time. Why we're doing that? Because we are locking it in. We're making sure that your color changing will not move, and it is smooth sailing from there. So we're going to complete the rest of the 11 stitches and now this is the 11th one yarn over pull through one and stop because that's the 11th one so being that it's the 11th one we're going to stop pull it to the front why because we do not want to put it to the back the back is our front the front of our work pull it to the front and now we're going to yarn over, pull through both of the loops, pull down on this white, and we're going to pop, lock, and drop again. Pop it in, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through both, and continue with that. So any questions? about the pop lock and drop method any questions about the way um why i do it again if any other questions period oh man Woo! i cannot wait until this summer is over i am so not a summer baby no more questions i'm gonna keep on going all right so now we're going to the next row right here now remember this is for the overalls i got it now i got it y'all i got it I'm <laughs> his overalls no more onesie so being that this is going on the um overalls actually on the pattern i do believe because let me tell y'all something i don't follow patterns all the way i kind of tweak it a little bit because sometimes you have to when you're adding a um picture to it so because i tweaked it a little i think she added it on here but i did not do that i am going to do this part and then I'm going to sew it on here. So I'm not sure I can actually look at it and tell, but for demonstration purposes and because Diva just do it the way I want to do it, I am just going to sew it on. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to do it like that. So any other questions? Because we are already at 8 o'clock and I still got another hour and I want to make sure that I'm answering everyone because I feel like no one's asking any questions and then they're going to say, I don't know how. I don't know how to do this. And she didn't show me. So let me know. Let me know so I know what to do. I am going to also um, tell you that on Mentor Monday, we're going to have some fun on Mentor Monday, okay? So if you have any questions about starting a business or doing crochet business, you know, I try to give you guys the God honest truth. 
And I try to let you know that a lot of the things that um, a lot of people say may not be all together. Um, like they make it look like or make it sound like everything is done just like this. Let me tell you something. It doesn't work that way. I've been doing this for such a long time. A long, 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 long time. And now everything is starting to pick up. The last year and a half to two years, everything just started picking up. So please don't think that things are going to happen overnight because it doesn't. It happens when you do it consistently. So when you keep on spitting out stuff, people start watching. Because think about it. If you want to buy something, sometimes you don't buy anything until you see it. And once you see something over and over and over and over and over again, then you're like, oh, wow, I like that. Wow, I think I could use that. Wow, maybe I could buy that for such and such. And that's how I get my customers. A lot of customers, I don't even know who they are. Some customers I I know by word of mouth. Some people just see me on YouTube. Some people, not YouTube. I don't get really anybody on YouTube, but some people see me on Instagram or Facebook. And I even have other crocheters who introduce me to other people. And that's how you can do it. And so that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to do the money part, how to do whatever you need to do to get a sale. Um, the ladies right now, this very second, they are, they have homework because I give like little homeworks. So they have a homework right now. And the homework that they're doing right now is basically finding a customer for Christmas. And some of them already have a customer. So just follow my guidelines and I promise you, you will be fine. There's no room to be shy. There's a lot of ladies in there that's very shy. There's no room at all whatsoever to be shy. Because being shy is only going to not help you with your pockets. You have to talk to people. You have to tell them certain things. And you have to be boisterous. And you have to be diva. Um, I never was diva before at all whatsoever. Before all of this, no. I decided because I had gave my name Creative Stitching Diva because I gave myself that name. I had to pick myself up and I had to do things differently because you can't say yourself as you're a diva and you don't do diva like things. So that's when I just started to do certain things differently. And it worked, y'all. It worked. I guarantee you it worked. Also, research. Research. Research, 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 research. You don't do research. I don't know. Consistency, research, collaboration, just networking, it all helps. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it helps. So, all right, I'm going to go to the next one. Um, but let me let me talk to you guys. Stacy, I love me some Stacy. <sighs> uh, Okay, so Stacy has been doing some work in my class, and let me tell you something. She already did work previously, but since she's been posting the stuff that she's been doing in the classroom, oh, and the stuff that she is making is, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the stuff is absolutely beautiful. Um... I'll show that tomorrow. I'm not gonna show that now. I'll show that I'll show all the pictures tomorrow. But right now, like I'm telling you, you guys can make some money and you can not just make money, you can make it rain. I've been having trouble knowing which side to put the yarn. Is there any way to know so it's not complicating? Sure. Okay. So um, like I explained, there's a couple of ways, right? When you are on your graph, you are going to start on the right or the left. Either way, wherever you start is always going to be number one. When you start with number one, that is the odd. 
So that means that your odd, the number one, is always going to be the front of your work because that's the work that you're, that's the side you're starting on. So the, the side that you're starting on, you're always going to put your string towards the back. When you turn your work around, you turn it like like you're turning a page in a book. When you turn your work around, it's the back of your work. And that means you're going to be on the odd side. So that will be um, the odd number. No, I'm sorry, the even number. Number one is the uh, odd, two is even. So that means the even number is going to be the back of your work. So when you are doing this and you leave and you put your work down and you come back to it, as long as you're marking your graph, you always know where you end it, and then you can um, start again. So, odd is in front, even is your back. That's how you'll know. Also, I do know that I always keep my my strings hanging from the back. So being that I keep my hand, my strings hanging from the back, I automatically know that this is the back of my um, work and this right here is the front of my work because the front of my work has no strings hanging. It looks clean and this is a picture. Like you could get a picture with this. Um, Make the money rain. We need, we all need that. Absolutely. We all need that money. Uh, the yarn tails always are in the back of your work. Yep, sure is. The yarn tails are always in the back of your work. Don't ever, 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 ever have them hanging in the front. It's not a good look. And you're going to confuse yourself. You're not going to know what's front, what's back. And you can distort your image. Uh, is there a place to get free graphs? I would like, I would like to have a small practice pattern. You are awesome, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so in the classroom, in the classroom, there is on the uh, the Facebook page, Grafkin University. There's a there's a bunch of practice graphs. And that's what we use in the class to make our um, practice. Well, we make our uh, whatever we're making. So we did do like little coasters. We did do like washcloth. We did do like little squares just to start off. And then we started adding it into the bib. We tried to do a onesie, but the onesie didn't work. So now we're doing the overalls. After the overalls, we're going to do a pillow. So we're basically progressing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, after that, we're going to do scarves, but the scarves is going to be Tunisian. So I'm going to teach Tunisian, and we're going to do that. Um, what else? What else is next before I keep going? Uh, thanks, Nat. Uh, Shauna, are you feeling y'all? Yes, I am. Hi, beautiful Shauna. Been listening to you intently. You are such a great teacher, mentor, motivated. Thank you, Dolly Face Smith. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You know, that makes my day. That makes my day. That makes me think that I'm not doing this all in vain. Because I just want you all to learn what I learn, and that is to do a good graph game. All the work that I put in all these years, I put in a lot of work into this. So not only did I learn how to do a graph, I also learned how to make that graph. But I also realized that it wasn't looking the way I wanted it to look. So what I did was I would graph. And then I would create it. And then it still didn't look the way I wanted it to look, or I wanted to change a little bit of something. Then I would graph again, and then I would create it. So the back and forth that I kept doing helped 
me to help you because now I know how to create my graphs to make my work look good. So when I create your graphs, if you buy them from me, because you don't have to with so many people out there, but if you buy them from me, you know you're getting a good, good, good graph. I also taught how to know what's a good graph and a bad graph. I could do that. I could do that now, actually. But I taught how to know what's a good graph and what's a bad graph because that is so, oh my God, you have to know what's a good graph or else you're going to keep saying, it's not turning out right. It's not looking right. It's not looking right. It's not looking right. And let me tell you something. It is. It's not you. It's the graph. It's the graph and it's your technique. So if you're not doing a good color technique, changing your color technique, or your graph is not good, then you, it's not you. It has to be that graph because think about it. You're not doing nothing but following each box. So each color of that box, you're just changing the colors for each box. So when you are doing, um, I'm sorry, let me get, get Dolly out of here. Sorry, Dolly, but let me just move you over a little bit. So when you are doing your background color, which mine is the blue, when you're doing your background color and you change it to whatever color that you're going to use for your image and then your background color again, you are... I lost my train of thought. I don't even know what I'm just saying. I'm looking at what somebody just wrote. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that. But anyway, just make sure you have a good graph. Now I know what I was about to say. Your graph, if it has like dots here and dots there, so if you had a, a, a good image and it's a beautiful image and you saw it on Google or Pinterest or something like that, and it's something that you said that you want it to be graphed, so you take that and you go on Stitch Fiddle and you put it in stitch fiddle and then you're playing around with the numbers and then you're playing around with this and then you're playing around with that let me tell you something that is where you're messing up at because stitch fiddle does not allow you to change it it doesn't allow you to fix the errors it doesn't allow you to because changing the the colors like putting in the number of colors and putting in how how big you want it or how small you want it is not going to make it change to make it look clean and clear. So if you see somebody who has a, a graph item and it's not legible and you're looking at it and you're like, oh, what is that? So if they have to put the picture next to it, that's not a good graph. We shouldn't have to put a picture next to it. If it looks a little bit messed up where it's supposed to be clean lines and the lines are not clean, it's not a good graph at all whatsoever. That's what a lot of your issues are when you say, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. Look at the ladies that are in my class now. They have good graphs. They know how to do a good color um, changing technique and they on the roll now. I guaranteed it, and they got it. I guaranteed it. They have it, and you could too. I, I don't make false promises. I don't do it. Hi, Shauna. You are great. I look forward to watching you. I also would like to get the ebook. Yay! All right, ebook. My ebook is basically showing you how to do a graph on PC Stitch. Like I mentioned before, PC Stitch is targeted for cross stitch cross stitch is not for crocheting because that's the issue that we all are doing we go to pinterest or google and we find pixeled graphs and what do we do we use the pixel graphs because it's free and sometimes free is not always for us sometimes you got to invest some money to get a good graph in order for you to multiply you have to invest some money so that's where a lot of you is your issues are i need to stop that you need to stop that i need to stop it you need to stop it because i did do that in the beginning i did i would go on pinterest and i would find a pixel um image and i would look at it and i'm like oh i like that it's a unicorn 
And then I crochet it and wonder why I look a hot mess. Because the unicorn is not supposed to look like that. And you can't crochet it and expect it to look like magically beautiful. If it looks a hot mess on the pixel picture, how do you think you, you're going to make it look beautiful on crochet? No. No, it doesn't work that way. Get a diva graph and you'll be happy, I'm telling you. But there's some people out there that I did teach. There's some people out there that um, do graphs and they have Etsy accounts and some, some of them are on um, Instagram and on Facebook. I can teach you how to look for a good graph, not to be conned and not to get a huge graph. There's some of you, I'm not going to say the names, Disha, got a huge graph. How are you going to do 280? Oh, my God. I feel so bad for her. You're going to be doing it forever. You're going to be doing it forever and ever and ever. And that's why you need a diva graph. Because I know how to make it this small, but make it look good. Okay. So... How much are, let me see, let me see, let me see. So, this is my first time here, so I'm going to play catch up. Yes, Vivian, you'll be fine. I'm not going nowhere. We're going to have this class, turn that light on for me. We're going to have this class for a good while. So, don't worry about it. Um... Hello, beautiful. How much are your classes? Thank you, gorgeous. I can't see your face, but thank you. So the classes are free. I'm doing it on YouTube right now. And I'm going to do all of my live classes on YouTube from now on. But the actual class where I put um, all of my photos and we put the photos and stuff in it, it will definitely be in the classroom. The classroom is Gracken's. And uh, what is it? I was about to say my group, Grafkins University. So when you go on Grafkins University, the ladies can give you the link to it. Go on Grafkins University, and they and that's where our um class is at. That's where you um could put your work up there, and you could do all of that. And um, but other than that, it's free. The class is free. I don't charge. But if you would like to give a donation, I will not shy away. <laughs> Tisha. <laughs> Tisha. I learned that is that S in your ebook is something I never knew about. I love your PCs. I love PC Stitch now. Yes. So Stitch Fiddle and PC Stitch. I did a, a YouTube video on it. You can watch that. It's on my channel. Just look it up. Look that up because I actually, I'm very visual. So if anyone in my class can tell you, I like to show exactly what I'm talking about. Because some people are like, I use Stitch Fiddle. I'm not going to stop using Stitch Fiddle. And you can't tell me. Let me tell you something. I challenge anyone to do a Stitch Fiddle and me do my PC Stitch. And I'm not talking about them easy like, hell, no. I'm talking about a good, detailed image. I challenge you to do that because I challenged the owner. The actual owner contacted me. He actually wanted to be in my group because I challenged. It's nowhere near PC Stitch. PC Stitch, I'm able to do so much. I'm able to take like four images and put it into one. You can't do that in, St in Stitch Fiddle at all whatsoever. So if he's watching, because I know who you are and you know who I am. If you're watching and you want to talk about it, we could talk. And we can make some game-changing decisions on getting people to use your Stitch Fiddle. But as of right now, PC Stitch is what is making it happen. It's what's making it rain right now. So that's what I'm going to keep on using. It's, it's like a game changer, y'all. 
I'm able to do so much with that software. Sometimes um, I'm able to put in one image and then as I'm doing one image, then I will think like, oh, I want to add this and I want to add that. And that's what I do. And I just keep adding. Every now and then in my group, I would do um, like some type of, um, uh, I don't know. I think one day I just decided to graph online. And then all of a sudden, everybody is like, when are you going to graph online again? When are you going to graph online again? So people started liking it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do that on YouTube one time. So when I graph, and I have to graph this week, when I graph, I'm going to graph on YouTube. And when I do that, you're going to see how I bring photos to life. We bring good things to life. Um, yeah, so you almost done. How many years did it take you though, Disha? <laughs> you get a good diva, get a good diva graph. It wouldn't take you that long, but I'm really glad. No, let me stop playing. I'm, I'm glad that you got it and I'm glad that you're doing well with it. The image in order to do certain things on these softwares anyone pc stitch stitch fiddle uh what is it win stitch all of them if you put 300 by 350 or 400 by 400 if you do that that's how your image comes out clear and clean that's why it comes out clean and clear because you have so many little tiny boxes and the little tiny boxes make it easier for you to see the crisp and clean image. That's where a lot of people are. Um, that's where a lot of people are able to get you to buy their stuff because you see the picture and you're like, oh, I love that. I want to buy it. And so when you buy it, not realizing it's 400 by 450. So that means you got 450 stitches and 400 rolls. And we don't have time for that. Diva's got to do way more than that. Okay. So we don't have time to be doing 400 by 400. So I do a good size. Because 400 by 400, if you think about it, or 280, 300, 350, that is going into king size. So if that's what you want to do and you want to go into king size, be my guest. I don't have time for it. Um, Have I got an order for it? Yes, once. Am I finish it? No. But the other ones that I have are 200 and below. Being that they're 200 and below, I'm easy. It's easy. And I'm able to do it like maybe two weeks, three weeks at a time. That's the difference. But just be careful. I will go into that another time, but be careful when you buy those graphs because it makes a difference. It makes a difference. But yeah, Tawana, not that big. Yay! Thank you. And thank you, little John. Um, how do we get your ebook? So, how much is the PC set? So, let's do this together. My can someone put my email down there? Uh, the GraphGans and the Restless email. GraphGans and the Restless is my um group. So, that's the email that we use. Uh, graphcans and the restless at gmail.com. That is what um, you can send. Just say that you want to get the ebook, and I will help you get the ebook. The ebook is $40. Um, what I am going to in the group, I have it in there. So if you are in my graphcans and the restless group, or if you are in graphcans university class, it's in there. GraphGans University class is underneath where it says things to purchase. So my ebook is in there. I also, because PC Stitch is $50, when you buy the book, I send you the code through the um, email. So I email you the link to the book and also the PC Stitch. Um, Dot com. That's what you go on, pcstitch.com. You download PC Stitch. What I tell a lot of people to do is play with it first. 
don't you don't even have to buy the book first if you want because if you know you really want it uh get it because i know gail oh my gosh my crochet sister she stalked me until she found out how to do graphing and then she started learning then she started graphing and then she goes i don't want to do this no more you can do it for me so she pays me to do it for her yeah that's how she does that's how a lot of people do they they know how to do it but they rather me do it because they rather me just spend my time graphing for them yeah that's fine because diva does it better anyway so go ahead to graphicansrus at gmail.com and you are to just put that you want the ebook i will give you every information that you need to get the ebook the ebook is forty dollars. PC Stitch is fifty, but with the code, you get it for twenty dollars. So altogether, it will be sixty dollars. That's what you can do, and that. And I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's worth it. So you don't have to worry about paying anybody else to do your own graphs. You can do your own graphs, and I get like an order ASAP. So when I get the orders ASAP, I can make my own graph. I don't have to say. Someone can you do my grass and you literally have to wait for that someone to do your grass because that someone could be very busy Yeah, sorry I'm downloading PC stitch now. I have been trying to get into graph and have done a few But would like to get so much better. I'm so glad I saw you online yesterday. I'm so glad you saw me too I'm so glad you are downloading PC stitch right now. I am so glad so now all you need to do is hit me up in my email, graphgans and the restless at gmail.com so you can get the ebook. The ebook is gonna show you step by step pictures and videos on how to use that software. The thing about the software is it tells you how to do a cross stitch, but we changed the game, y'all, and we made it into y'all, Gail, yeah, y'all. We changed it and we made it into um something that we could use for crocheting. So that's what I did. I showed you guys how to use it for crocheting. Good night, good night for um crochet by sass. Good night, honey. Um Yes, I make masterpieces. How long does the code last? I had to update my. You can use the code. Don't worry about it. I got you. Use the code. Stitchboard is the same way. I bought some graphs from people that end up having to print over 15 pages. Crazy town. I heard about Stitchboard too. Some people try to argue me down about Switchboard. Some people do. All right, so we're an hour and a half in. I am going, it's a lot going on. So I am going to um, take it down because I, unless you guys have any more questions, I will take it down. Um, for those who just started, I think that I will have to like, go from the beginning because I literally just went straight into doing the overalls so I have no problem doing that so what I would do is I would do like short videos on um little things but as of right now you can go on my YouTube channel and look at the videos because I already have all of that on there so if you want to look up pop lock and drop is already there if you want to look up how you do the actually i have a couple of pop lock and drops color changing videos so you could go on there and you can look there's a couple of things i already have on my youtube channel have fun go look if there's something that you do not see in the group in the group or in my um chat or in my email you can always send a message i also have something called ask diva so i'm going to do a day where i'm going to just do all ask diva questions which is basically what i did previously i started doing it last year and then i stopped because i didn't get a lot of questions anymore so ask diva is something that you guys ask me the question and i answer you and when i answer you i don't just answer you um typing i answer you on video form that way you see i'm visual so me being visual i want you to actually see so yeah 
um email her and she'll send you the cool yes is my email did someone put my email up there because um the email you can email me and i will make sure you um get the ebook so i take um the payment the method of payment is through either paypal and what i'll do is i'll put it's not there now but i will i will put it in the description right now this very second as soon as i'm finished i will put everything in the description if you want to make the payment if you want to send donations if you want to do whatever you need to do that will be um greatly appreciated and fine class is free but you, it's not obligated at all but the class is definitely free um Thank you so much. Very informative. I am so excited. Yes! We gonna get this party started, y'all. I have never done one because carrying yarn looked intimidating. I think by watching you, I may try it. Please, Beverly, please. And I want to see it. I want to see what you do. I want to see it. I watched three of your videos. Two of them were the pop lock and drop. I think I yes, I did a lot of the pop lock and drop because in the beginning I didn't have good technology. Then I got a little bit better with trying to put the camera upside down. Then I got oh yeah, I just got this like a couple of weeks ago. My actual like camera, camera, camera. It's like a digital camera. Like it's that camera on the tripod thingy thing so i got that then i got a light in the back so i got all my equipment now i think i'm legit y'all i think i think i made it i think i made it pop lock and drop does make a difference it does so a lot of you guys want to make um family members um not just a, a business but like hobby and so if you do want a business and you want me to be your crochet mentor mentor mondays is what i'm gonna start because I've been doing it with my um, class. I've been doing one day a week to mentor them about business. So Mentor Mondays is the day that I am going to do mentoring. 7 o'clock tomorrow. Hit me up right here and we can do Mentor Mondays. Um, thank you, Ellen. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. This is actually not my first live. I feel like it is, but it's really not. I just haven't did a live in a long time. This is not my first live. I've done, I've done so many lives before. They could tell you. I do lives all the time. Have I done lives on YouTube? Yes, I have. I have. It's just I haven't done a live that I had a thousand subscribers. I didn't do that. So this is a milestone. But yes, I do lives all the time. So um, yeah, it's not nothing for me. At all. So, but thank you. I appreciate you. I have been crocheting graphs since 2012, and the graphs that I saw was way better than I had bought. I am looking forward to making my own. Yes, Kim. So I've been doing it since 2012 too. Yeah, I've been I've been doing. Actually, I've been crocheting since 2012. My aunt taught me. So my aunt. I have two crochet mentors. And my aunt Jean is um the one who actually got she got me into crocheting, y'all, because I never wanted to crochet. I never even thought about crocheting. I am going to say a little bit about my background. My background is absolutely crazy. So how I got into this? I got into this because I was depressed. I had breast cancer at the age of 26. I was diagnosed when I was 25, but it was like literally a month before my 20th, my 26th birthday. So I was 25 and at the age of 26, I was diagnosed with this um, breast cancer. It was metastatic breast cancer, which is the breast cancer that was, uh, it was the um, stage three because the ball was like, uh, I'll say like one of the little clementines, the little oranges, like a golf ball. And it started spreading underneath my arm on my left side, on my left breast. I still have like a little scar here that looks like a, um, it looks like a gunshot wound. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks like, a, I think I wore a tank top one time and somebody thought I got, I, I got shot. I never got shot. It, it's basically um, the wound that I had and I will never take it away because that's, that's my, my wound that saved my life because they took it out. So, um, 
I wasn't even depressed then when I had the breast cancer. I started getting depressed later on. Um, after me having breast cancer, I realized that life is short. And there's a lot of things. At the time, I was working in the health field, medical health field. I was doing infertility. And I was like, I... I don't know if I just want to be here anymore. I don't I don't know if I I didn't know if I want to be there in that office anymore. I didn't know if I wanted to be in that setting anymore. I felt like I was doing way more but getting paid way less. So I wanted to leave Jersey City at the time I was in Jersey City and I just I I just got my license around then because I, it was just so many things that I never did as when I was younger. So I started doing then. It was like my life just started like changing and it was so many things that I had wanted to do that I never did before. I honestly never really drank. I never really smoked. I never did none of that stuff. So I felt like why me? Why someone who never did none of that? Why? Like I, I didn't understand. And it wasn't meant for me to understand, but I never understood. So the thing about that was I was able to get up. I was able to go. I found a significant other. I had my son. I had a car. I had a townhouse. I had a good job. I was the manager. I was running things. I was doing great, making good money. And then I just started getting depressed and then my brain started changing a little bit. So people don't understand that when you have um, br breast cancer, you are already going through some kind of chemical imbalance because you, you are going through, am I going to get it, get it, get it again? Am I going to die? And you know, all these things are going in your brain. Then you get chemo. Chemo changes your brain. Not realizing it does, but it did. And I didn't realize it at the time. So I was going through all of these changes. I wound up being homeless. I wound up losing everything that I had. I, I had my younger son, um, who was 11 and now. And then my oldest, is he about to be 21 in another month. So all of these things happened. I really did not even, I couldn't even put it together. But I, my aunt, I don't know why, but we just always had a good relationship. And she's older. She's in her 80s now. And she called me one day, asked me to go to the library. I said, no, I didn't want to go. I actually saw her, yeah, but I didn't want to go. And then she asked me again. And I said, mm -hmm. okay, I'll go. Didn't go. Then one day I said, okay, let me go. Because she's going to just keep asking me. Then come to find out, my mom told her to get me out the house. So I wound up going. I went. And they started, you know, crocheting. I really wasn't interested. I wasn't interested at all. But I am a giving person and I like to give all the time. So what I did was I watched them say that they were making scarves and blankets and stuff. Because they wanted to give the blankets and the hats and the booties and stuff to babies that were in the hospital. Then... I noticed, I'm like, oh, I want to do that. I want I, I want to do that, especially queenies and stuff. And then I noticed that they uh, was giving away to South Dakota. And then that, and that was very interesting to me as well. So I said, you know what? I do want to do this. Long story short, I turned that into what I'm doing now. Someone who didn't even want to pick up a hook. Someone who didn't even want to pick up a yarn. My aunt like made the made the difference in my life when it comes to this so i owe her a whole lot for helping me she helped me a whole lot when it came to this because i didn't even know how to hold a hook i didn't know how to i didn't know anything about yarn she gave me my first hook my first knitting um needles she gave me my first um yarn she gave me my first everything when it comes to um crocheting then I have another mentor. I was blessed to have two mentors. I had another mentor who is a family friend who lived on the same block as me when I was younger. And then I noticed that she was doing graph games. I didn't even know what a graph game was. I just so happened to watch her work because she had a lot of work and she's just fabulous when it comes to sewing and everything she does is just good and professional looking. So when I just asked her a lot of questions and she gave me the God honest truth. 
the God honest truth. Like she actually told me if she was nice about it, if I messed up, she was like, well, maybe you should change this or maybe you should change that. So that's what I appreciated about both of them because they were able to give me that constructive criticism that I needed and I appreciated that. And that is why I am the way I am today when it comes to my crochet, because I wanted to be quality. I wanted to look professional. I wanted to be professional. And I want to be able to charge the amount that I am supposed to get. Don't get me wrong. I didn't do that in the beginning because we all have that phase where you need money and you need to sell your items just because you need some money for the time. Let me tell you something. <sighs> It is not worth it. I can explain that in the Monday mentoring thing, but right now, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. So after all of that, having breast cancer, I found out and being homeless twice, I found out that I have RA and autoimmune disorder. After all of that, I'm wondering why my bones hurting real bad. Why my back hurts so bad? Why am I sleepy all this time? Why is this happening? Why is that happening? And uh, people were saying I'm just crazy, or people were saying you just need to work, or you just need to lose weight, or you just need to do this, and you just need to do that. And then one day I found out it wasn't just that. I'm not saying that all of that wasn't, you know, maybe it could have changed, but I actually had an autoimmune disorder. And the autoimmune disorder made me, it started making me depressed. It started making me feel like, well, dang, like, I really didn't do anything. Like, I really thought I was a good child. I really thought I was a good teenager. All I did was work, and I worked, and I worked, and I worked, and I worked, and then here I'm put in a position where I can't even work. So, all of that to say, I appreciate life. I appreciate everything that is happening to me today. And I put all my effort into all of this because it's working for me. And I can actually say I don't have to want anything at all whatsoever anymore. I don't. And I'm very blessed for that. I have all this yarn. People buy it for me. Um, people donate. Because I like to donate. I buy when it's on sale. I'll talk about that another time too. Because you do need to invest in yourself. So I'm just saying this to let you know. It does not matter at all what you're going through. If you really want to do this. And you really want this business. You really want to do graph gaining. If you feel like whatever you're doing right now. Is just not getting you to where you need to go. And you believe that graph gaining can help you. Even if you want to keep the, the technique that you're using and just want to learn something else new, because you might can add them together, this right here is what it is. I swear I can help you. I swear I will give you whatever I need to give you to help you, to get you where you need to go. I'm not selfish. I do not care about if, if anyone feels like I'm trying to take something from them, because believe me, I'm not. I'm very blessed. I have no problem with competition because... I don't, I know that I am good at what I'm doing and I know that the knowledge that I have can always keep me to keep bringing, basically paying the bills. I know that. So I have no problem and no fear for anyone stepping on my toes. We are supposed to fix each other crowns. We are crow sisters and crow brothers, right? We are crochet sisters and crochet brothers. We supposed to help each other. We supposed to fix each other crowns, right? A lot of us don't do that, but that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to help each other. And so that's why I said I was going to do this, and I was going to do this for free. A lot of us can't afford it. I've been there. I've done that. And that's why I'm here to help. If you can't afford it, even if you get a little bit of chump change here and there, invest in your business. You don't have to have as much yarn as some of us do, because this is kind of ridiculous. Like I'm like, Y'all don't even see half of the yarn I have. But at least, you know, start building. Start building your brand. In the group, I put everything that you need. Get you an LLC. Get you your logo. Get you, but you got to be serious with it. You got to be um, consistent with it. We could do that tomorrow, Mentor Monday. I just felt like I needed to say, say that, and I felt like I needed to share that because I see a lot of people saying, you know, I can't do this and I can't do that. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't have the time. 
I'm a stay at home mom too. I found the time. Sometimes we just gotta push stuff to the side. There's some pop, some people with three jobs. Yeah, she got a whole business and she's a bus driver and she does her crochet. She has just as many orders as I do and still doing it. So even with my disorder, my uh, autoimmune disorder, I'm still able to do it. There's no excuses at all whatsoever. Just, just stick with the diva. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. You'll be fine. So I'm going to let you guys go. And we're going to take it down because we're going to get ready for Mentoring Monday. If you have any questions, let me know. I appreciate you guys for taking the time out and looking, listening. And looking at my video and I hope you come back for many many more because this is the platform that I'm going to use for now on you don't know how many watch time hours out and messed up on Facebook okay I'm not doing that no more we're going to get all the watch time hours here for now on we're going to do it here um how do you join GraphGan uh GraphGan University um is GraphGan University it's what is it Facebook dot com slash groups slash GraphGan University. That's what that is. Once you get in there, I will go in there and I will approve you. Um and then that's it. Thank you, Triple C. I really appreciate you and your husband. And I know you're gonna be on a little bit tonight because I gotta crochet this Steelers blanket. So I will be watching you on my television, you and your hubby. Even though sometimes I don't say nothing, I'll be watching. I'll be watching. So you guys have a good night. Y'all go on over to Triple C and, and Joe Show because I swear to you, if y'all night owls like me, y'all will be over there. Y'all will be over there because I watch it on my TV while I crochet. I got this stillest blanket I need to do. So you guys have a good night and I will see you tomorrow.